Hey, welcome back. Hope everybody is having a great Monday. And thank you so much for joining me talking all things Masters of the Universe. Today on channel, guys, as you can see, we're going to be doing a little review of the Build-A-Figure of the Target Exclusive Deluxe Turtles of Grave Skull line of Metal Bottle here. We'll take a look at the figure right here, all his eyes comes with. Of course, this was a Target Exclusive only uh, Build-A-Figure and the very first Build-A-Figure in the Origins line uh, for any brand. And hopefully not the last. Um, but we'll take a look at the figure right here very closely, all the eyes comes with. As you can see, I also brought out my vintage and my mini comic book version of Roboto. Because, of course, uh, Metal Bottle is a mashup between Roboto and Metalhead. Alright. Um, now, of course, also, we've been doing this little mini-series on the channel here of, of deluxe figures. Starting up with the final figure of 2 Bob Steady. The review and boxing is on the channel up now. Uh, go check it out. It's really fun. Uh, that gave us the final pieces that we needed to build this really cool uh, character here. Um, and so forth. And then yesterday, I gave you my least favorite to my favorite deluxe uh, figures of the Turtles Grace Call. Now, questions are, you know, will this be the only, you know, deluxe set of the Turtles Grace Call line or even a build a figure? Um, now, the line is still going right now with more figures, um, single carded figures, but um, no word or no notification about any deluxe figures in the Turtles Grace Call line. So, only time can tell. Now, also, of course, if you are new to my channel or first time watching, I hope you will subscribe afterwards. I hope you hit that like button and thank you so much for doing that. Hit that notification bell when you know upload new videos and please share this video. Who has a passion and a love for collecting all things Masters of the Universe. Without further ado, let's take a look at Metal Bottle. And of course, like I said, this was a Target exclusive Build-A-Figure. And the figures that you needed to build this figure uh, are right here, right in behind him, which I have, which is Metal, which is Mouse Jaw, Slacker, Splinter Skull, and Two Bob Steady. To create this very cool, very unique, very, I guess for the first time in, in the collection, in, we have a figure here which was, I mean, in box, but not in single carded form. We had to build it, um, which is very unique. Like I said, this is the first time ever um, building a figure in the Origins line, um, and hopefully not the last. Um, now, one thing I will say um, about um, the fact that Walmart did not give us a build a figure of their own, I feel like that's a little bit of a disappointment in a way. Now, this is still the, 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 the figures that we did get from the Walmart side of the Turtles Grey Skull line, uh, was amazing. But you could have given us two really cool, very unique figures, build a figures from both brands, from Target and Walmart. And for fun, we could, you know, compare which one was the best, which one, you know, and, but, Maybe, maybe if we are continuing with the Turtles of Grayskull line and there will be a possible more deluxe figures in the future, maybe it will be Walmart's time to, you know, give us a builder figure if they so wish. But here he is. Here's old Metal Bottle here, first of all. Get the uh, turntable turned off real fast. Very cool. Very unique. Um, functional. That's one thing I do love, the fact that this is a builder figure that... that is fully functional it didn't have to do that which is amazing multiple items right here um now if you've seen it before i'm sure you have one i've seen it on the you know that you know the chest plate can be removed to expose of that uh that really cool gears of of, of robot here was very um very unique uh putting them together was very easy very easy to do now the one thing i will say my one little gripe about this figure here um first of all here he is um, is that some of the items or weapons he comes with um, do not fully se or secured don't fasten securely on the figure here um, like the the this this coil here um, that you know as you, you know that shows in the, in the photograph um, that you have it on the shoulder but oh, sorry uh, the shoulder blade right there of metal bottle here um, I wish that the the peg here was just a little bit here a little bit wider. Or give you more of a secure uh, fitting in the in the metal bottle plate uh, figure here, um, but very unique, um, very cool, awesome, awesome, awesome. Now for fun too, um, you can see you, you have you can do a multiple a range of weapons on him. Um, now before I do that, of course, 
there is that really cool feature that you know that kind of Roboto s feature um let me get the little uh, blade off here let me take off this little chest plate right there now when i display him i'm going to probably display him like this um with the gears the gears work perfectly the mouth right there uh or the visor or whatever you want to call it um uh it's more i don't know it's i think it's um uh a, you know, compared to like Roboto here, you know, which is very, very fast and quick, you can barely see the eyes when you go up and down. This one, you know, it's more slow, which I do like. Um, fully articulated. Um, you know, like I said, it's a, it's an action, it's an origins variant. So you can pop the arms off, you can pop the legs off, or I mean, you can pop the waist off. Uh, but I do believe, and I'm not going to risk it, um, that, you know, that the head alone is only in the body of in the head is only for metal bottle here so if you tried to put like a he-man head on there or skeletor head on or anything um i don't think it would work because of the unique uh neck frame on metal bottle here so you have, unfortunately you cannot mix and match uh the figure here but what i can do which i have right here um is this, this little item bag here um, you can see I have multiple, multiple bags of, like, uh, weapons and stuff like that through, like, various uh, figures here. Now, this gun blaster here, uh, we just looked at from the Horde Prime Trooper from Origins right there. So, if you wish to have, a, like, a blue side and a red side, let's see if this works here. Hang on. Take it off. All right, there you go. Look at that. I mean, you can like mix and match. You can come up with some really crazy, really cool items here. Let's see what else we got here. Okay. Speaking of which, we just have that. See, you can even plug in stuff right here in, in his in his wrist right here as well. Now, I will say his wrist uh, feature right here, the holes right here, or the plugins are uh, fit the weapons or items more securely, which I do like. But let's do a little mix and match here. Let's do a look at that. You can come up with some, look at this, I mean, how cool is that? He's like, he's ready for war, ready for battle. Now, to actually, to um, plug in the weapons um, on his hands, you had to put these little devices in. He came with two little devices for both hands that you plug in to the hand, um, and then you guess you, you secure the weapon of choice, um, if you wish to do so. Uh, let's try that right now. Very cool. So cool. Let's go ahead and pop the hand off. And where's that little gear at? Pop the gear on. Or that little device. Oops. Ugh. Well, maybe I'm wrong here. Now, the one thing I do notice that this little peg here. This little, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, everybody. This peg right here, everybody. Um, it's, I don't know. Maybe I'm doing it wrong, but... I have a tough time trying to push this little peg in the hole here for his hand here. Um, and when I try to remove it, I feel like it's going to like snap off the figure. So be very aware of that. Um, maybe, it's the, oh, oops. maybe it's the wrong hand. Hang on. You're going to be very careful. This little, like, it's so fragile and so easy to break off in the figure. So you've got to be extremely, extremely careful um, when it comes to... Mixing and matching these little hands here. Okay, there you go. Okay, okay. So maybe you know because each peg came with its own hand. So maybe this is the peg that goes with that. All right. Now for fun, I have of course like a trap jaw as blaster here. Let's see if I can get that the push in or into the figure here. Aha! There we go. Look at that. You have a. A little blaster cannon and multiple like I got all kinds of little pieces right here of this. <laughs> so we have like 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 let's do the gun here. Sorry, go like that. Boom. And then where's his other blaster here? Like he is armed to the teeth for war to fight against you know Shredder and Skeletor. Um, very like, blades right there on his hands. I mean all kinds of really cool things. Um, let's see here. Let's put the uh. Find that other device. So that's so. Here's the other device, by the way, everybody, that you can plug into the other arm here. Hang on, everybody. I almost got it, everybody. Hang on. Like I said, like 
Hopefully it stands right there. But there you go. There's like the ultimate like version of metal bottle here. With blasters and drills. I'm kind of moving back just a little bit here. But that's all. But I love it. I love the fact that you can build these figures and just create some really crazy, very cool, very unique, you know, uh, item or figures in your collection. And I think I've like dropped half of them. Now, also, it would be kind of cool too, um, since he had a, 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 a range of weapons and, and hands and stuff like that with him, um, that the shell was able to carry or, or store like a like a storage shell um, figure. Uh, for back of him, like I said, there's so many items that he comes with. To I guess you know plugging it in the back here, which you, I guess they want you, they want you to do. It's kind of very weird and unique at the same time. I don't know how I feel about that, but yeah, that won't fit right there. Also, if you're it's raining outside right now, everybody, if you hear rain, um, sorry, um, but Mother Nature calls. Look look at that! I mean, how cool is that? I love it. Um, the, the first ever. It, it, now the question is: Is is it worth it? Is it worth getting this figure? And I say yes. I think it's a lot of fun. You, there's a lot of playability here, a lot of functionality here um, for both. Um, so yes, I feel like this was well worth it. Going to Target and getting uh, this figure to build. And I hope this is not the last time we get a build a figure in the in this universe um, of Turtles of Grace Call. You can do with the cartoon collection. You know, it depends on, you know, how everyone, you know, takes this figure and runs with it. And, um, and Mattel will see this very carefully. And, you know, so let me know in the comments below. Did you try to go after the Target exclusive Turtles of Grayskull line and build this figure for your collection? This is a one-off. This is the only place you can do it is in Turtles of Grayskull. And I'm sure, um, now hopefully, I'm hoping, like I said that Walmart will eventually get into the game here and give us a Build-A-Figure of their own um, from the Trolls of Grayskull line, or even the Thundercats line. We, I mean, the Thundercats line would be a very unique, very, um, you know, uh, line to uh, collect uh, for deluxe figures to build something very unique and very interesting. Um, so, yeah, I think this is well worth it. Um, it's very cool, fully functional, very easy to assemble. Only, only gripe I have, you know, one big gripe is the fact that the weapons that don't really fit secure on the body, they're very easily to, they can be knocked off very easily. So just be aware of that. And some of the pieces, like those little pegs um, right here, like the hands right here, are so fragile and so small that just be aware of trying to pull the hand out or for, for any figure, I guess, because how fragile they are, because they can break very easily. So just have some finesse, I guess, uh, when you are trying to build your ultimate figure, or like metal bottle here. All right. And I still have so many other figures. Like I have like 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 these other weapons here. Crazy. Look, 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 look I got two claws right here. Plus what he has, but so much fun. All right, I'm gonna try to put his. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see here. I wanna put his. See, see, like, see right there. This peg right here does not see, does not fit securely in the hand here. I don't know. If anybody has any suggestions of how I can maybe, I don't know, make it fit a little bit more secure in on the in the body. Let me know. I think that'd be a lot of help. And thank you for doing that. But hang on, guys. I'm gonna get his hand. Hope I can get his hand back in here. Okay. Now, his hand, see, his hand works perfectly, okay? His hand snaps in perfectly, which tells me that the this device here, um, which I, I assumed was for the hand because it was part of the arm um, in the set here, was supposed to be for the for the, uh, uh, for the hand here, which is, I don't know, it just does not want to, like, you know, uh, fit securely in the, in the arm here. Oops, sorry about that. But regardless of that, this is a fun figure. Fully functional, which I love. Uh, functional, uh, fully articulated. You know, uh, you know. For also for fun here, while I have him here. Get his arm off right there. So you can pop the arm off here. And for fun, let's do. Let's put. Uh, oh, uh, original. Oops. <laughs> Metal uh, Roboto's hand here. And see if that works here. So there you go. You gotta. Like, you know, you have uh, actual Roboto's arm here on his right here on uh, metal bottle here. And let's see here. Let's see if this works or not. Okay. Of 
course, you have now Metal Bottle's arm here on, you know, on uh, Roboto's hand to come up with some crazy, like, extra features that you can do and crazy, you know, looks of, of, of these crazy figures here. But a lot of fun. A lot of fun. All right. Very cool. And I'm happy, and i very happy. They picked two very unique, very cool uh, robotic-type figures from both brands to mash up, which is absolutely perfect. I love it. But let me go ahead and put his arm back on his body. Right there. And then put his arm back on there. There we go. Oops. That's okay. That's okay. And then let's do the blade axe right here. Oops. And then put his blaster back on. On his right there. And there you go. We are back to normal. Perfect, very cool, could not be happier. Uh, like I said, this is well worth it. And I hope this will, you know, that we will get uh, future, you know, uh, build of figures in this world and the whole world of Master of the Universe. All right, but there you go, guys. Here's a look of the build a figure of Metal Bottle here. Uh, fun, Target exclusive build a figure. Um, very cool. I think I said, I think I said cool, you know, way too much in this in this video, but it's, it's it's fun. I love it. I love it. I love, you know, the creativity of this line here and how you can like really come up with some very unique, very cool, you know, figures in your collection. And if you don't like it, you can put everything back to normal and then you can try again, which I absolutely love Origins. Um, so very very. I'm, I was going to say that one, that C, the cool word, but it, it was cool. It's cool. <laughs> all right. So, all right. So, there you go, guys. All right. I'd like to take time now to, of course, thank my subscribers. Thank you so much for joining me today, guys. This has been a lot of fun and actually very cool to do with you guys. Um, that's my last time I say cool after that. <laughs> all right. So, of course, don't forget to hit that notification bell when you know, I upload new videos. And we'll do something, all things Master Universe. Hopefully, Glendar will be here tomorrow. And we'll uh, hopefully look at him in the, in the packaging and maybe unbox him, I hope. Uh, if not, we'll go back to those exclusive uh, Mattel Creations figures of Sun Man or the Skeletor V friends. You know, look back on the channel. All right. So, I hope you guys have a great and cool <laughs> uh, Monday. All right, and I'll see you guys on Tuesday. Take care and have a good one, everybody.